Hi, my name is Mark Adair, and I'd like to talk to you about neoevolution. Now, neoevolution um, has a couple of forms, the first of which is the idea that long-term uh, evolutionary social change can happen in society, uh, in societies that are widespread and unrelated. Uh, cultural changes can happen um, without the, the long-viewed idea that, uh, that it has to happen with uh, social progress, meaning that a society does things to better itself or for the common good, as it were. Um, the uh, technology that uh, I'm going to examine today uh, is the personal computer. And it's uh, altered society in general. Uh, there isn't a need to be together in order to be connected. Social networks allow people to otherwise uh, be introverted uh, to experience societal interactions without um, leaving their otherwise solitary existence. Uh, the loner is not alone anymore. Um, the benefit of this technology um, is that people uh, who would otherwise not interact uh, have the ability to do so and, and this uh, can include the elderly and the disabled. This gives an outlet uh, without being self-conscious or judged uh, because of the anonymity that computers provide. It allows the uh, severely handicapped to achieve absolutely remarkable things, uh, such as the case with uh, Stephen Hawkins. Without a computer, without a, pardon me, without a computer, Stephen's brilliant uh, mind would be lost to the world. Uh, he, he would just be locked away. Um, uh, potential drawback to the PC in today's world is that people are becoming more and more withdrawn. Uh, frustrating uh, the frustrations uh, dealing with the real world as compared to the digital domain has caused uh, fragile minds to crack. Uh, before, in my opinion, uh, people were forced to face their fears and hang-ups and they were more prepared to deal with society in general. Um, now that people hide behind computer screens and create their own world, um, people had uh, coping skills when it came to society in general and, and now those skills are less developed. Uh, several other drawbacks are people are <laughs> less skilled at spelling because of uh, spell check, less adept at mathematics uh, due to spreadsheets and the, and certainly the calculator which is no longer a piece of hardware on a desktop it's a, merely an application. Um, the other aspect in neoevolution is the, the direct manipulation of DNA. Uh, without computers the possibility of sequencing the human genome would be absolutely impossible. Uh, the impact to um, the plant world is that uh, GMOs uh, would not exist. Uh, the current belief is that, uh, with, especially in Europe, is that food made from GMO plants should not be consumed by anyone or anything. Uh, animals shouldn't even eat it uh, because then we eat the animal and, and uh, those altered um, plants are affecting the animals. Now, how much of that is just hype or, or whatnot, uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but people should not uh, mess around with genetics as we really don't know what the end result will be. I think there needs to be much more studying uh, about the, the effects and we just don't know what the effects are. Um, Having a person's DNA altered, um, you'd certainly create uh, an evolution, uh, but would it make them less human? Uh, I guess that's the real, the real question. If you took an animal and you created it into a sentient being uh, with intelligence, 
would it be considered property? Could a new slave race be um, created? You know, they wouldn't be human, so what would stop them from being uh, enslaved? Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, I think we should look for cures and illnesses with genetics and possibly look for markers that uh, indicate the possibility of a disease, but uh, we should not um, alter DNA to create, and that's my opinion.